Hi everyone. Welcome to our final demo for CSCE 492. I'm Jonathan Bundy. I'm William Leffler. I'm Ryan Henson. I'm Rick Charles. And I'm Zakai Meadows. Before designing our app, we, as a team, had to decide what problem we wanted our app to solve. Then we thought of one. Let's say you're hanging out with your friends. You all, just, you all decide that you want to go out to eat somewhere together. Well, not everyone can always agree on where to go. Some people might want to eat pizza. Other people might want to go to a steakhouse. So then, none of you can decide where to eat. And that's where our app, Food Stop, comes in. Food Stop is an app that helps you decide where to eat. But we didn't just want Food Stop to help you pick somewhere to eat with your friends. We wanted to make picking a restaurant fun and exciting too. Usually, you just do a quick search on your phone and pull up a list. And looking through a list of restaurants can be pretty boring. Then we came up with the idea of spinning a wheel to pick from restaurants at random. So not, um, not, so not only does Food Stop help you and your friends pick where to eat, it makes the experience fun. And even if you're not out with your friends, it's still an exciting way to pick somewhere to eat if you don't feel like cooking at home. Or maybe you're just driving home from work and want to stop somewhere first to pick up dinner. Reason, food Stop is here to help you. But building Food Stop wasn't easy. We had to choose a development framework that helped us create a new app from scratch. And we chose Ionic. Ionic is a development framework that lets you write one set of code that can run on Android or iOS. And Ionic can be integrated with other technologies like Google Firebase and Google Maps. Google Firebase powers our app's entire backend. With Google Firebase, we can create and manage user accounts for our app. We can store all our apps, data, in a secure database. And we can even send messages between instances of our app running on different devices. Google Maps allows us to show a map to our users directly inside our app. You can search for restaurants near your location and add them to Food Stop's wheel directly from there. Instead of talking about all these awesome features, let's actually see what the Food Stop can do with a quick demo. Uh, all right, welcome to the demo. My name's Ryan and I got Jonathan with me here today. Hey, what's up? So we're gonna first gonna open the app. And since we don't have an account, we can't sign in. So we're going to click right here and make one. And then first we enter our name. And then an email. And when they create their account, it'll also create their profile in our database at the same time. All right. And once we get all that in, we're going to hit create profile. And there we go. We're in. So when you log in, it's going to redirect to the wheel page so you can add some restaurants. So we're going to add five guys. And then there's a category selection right here to, so you can click on it and you see what type of food it is. So we're going to go with fast food because it's five guys fast food. And then you just hit it, add to your rest, add to the wheel. And then whenever our users add a restaurant, it's added to an array in our database that stores all their favorite restaurants they add and the app continuously updates and then gets that array to see what their restaurants are. All right, we're going to add a few more so we can show you the functionality of the, the spinning. There we go. So if you want to spin, spin the restaurants with just these four itself, you can just do it. <laughs> and since we don't have any friends right now, we can't invite them. So we're just going to hit no. And then if you just want to spin by fast food, you go spin by category and you go to fast food and hit confirm. There we 
we go. And then for you hit the side menu, we have the map page, profile page, and friends list. First, we're going to go with the, the map page. On the map page, it'll tell you your location. So I'm right here today. And then you can zoom in and zoom out to see wherever you want to look around the, your general area. Or if you want to search a specific restaurant, you can click right here on the search menu at the top. So you're feeling tacos tonight, so you want to go to Taco Bell. Just type in Taco Bell and then hit go. And it should pop up the, the ones that are near you. Then zoom out, and then here we go. We got one over here, one over here. You just pick the one you want to go to. So we're going to pick this one. And so you can add it to your, your wheel. So you're going to say yes. And we're going to go back to the wheel. We're going to see. We had a Taco Bell right here on the side. So there you go. And then now we're going to go say I want to invite my friend Jonathan over here to go to uh, ta tacos tonight. So we're going to go to friends list. And I'm going to go add and add a friend right here. So I'm going to type in his email. Yep. Uh, the Batman at gmail.com. Having some trouble with the cats. Bam. And then when he sends that friend request, it'll create a friend request in our database. And it'll trigger a cloud function that sends that request to the person who has an account with that email on the device and I've just gotten the friend request so he's gonna hit accept and then he's, he should pop up right here whenever he hits accept yeah and he'll get a notification that says uh, I accepted it there we go he's my new friend as you can see he's up here on my friends and another way to check this is we can go to our profile page right here and then we can go to our friends section of our profile page as well. And it shows you what friends we have, what friends you have. There's another check. And then for our, while we're down here, you can go to your restaurants, which is right here. You got all the restaurants that are on your wheel. And then so you want to delete one of your restaurants, say you no longer want to go to Outback. So you just swipe on it and you're going to hit delete. And there you go. It is gone from the wheel. And then also, if you if you want to change your name on here, you can just do update profile and then just change your name to say Bob. And then you just hit update and there you go. My name is now Bob. All right. So as we just deleted the a page from the wheel, so we're going to go back to the wheel right here. And we're going to see that Outback is clearly gone. All right. And then, as we've been seeing up here on the, the side menu for a while, we have a dark mode because most people nowadays like to use, uh, have to have a darker feature for the tablet so it won't be as bright. So we're just going to hit the button and then it just turns to dark, which gives it a maybe more aesthetic feel to it. And we also have one more feature for the wheel where if you just don't want, if you want to just clear everything and don't want anything else on your wheel, you can just hit, delete all of them with this button at the bottom of the page. I say yes, and there you go. No more restaurants. Another way to check it is make sure it all clears. You go to your profile and go to your restaurants. No restaurants. And I think that about wraps it up. And once you get done with your account, you can just hit sign up. And there you go. Oh, I also forgot. So if you want to reset your password, you forget your password and you want to reset it, you just click right here and you just put in your email right here. There you go. Then it'll send you a an email to reset your password. Alright, and I have the email pulled up, so I'm just going to click the link. and then get a new password. So I'm just going to do the apps. And save. 
Nein. So I'm just going to log back in and show you the different password. There you go. So I'm logged in.